All right, well, I couldn't beat the Elven Mummy because I didn't really have the damage I put to take him on, I guess. Plus, he also teleported around a lot. So, Radon is continuing on trying to kill him. I'll just level up and come back for him. That's the plan. Maybe get the equipment to, to uh, get that second project would be nice, too. Now here's basically a question of what I'm going to basically do at this point by the way for the game. Currently I'm wondering if I should actually be doing like these like, you know, secondary dungeons over here in Bariel, or if I should, I should just like, you know, push on and basically go for the prize and I like, get to like, you know, the high peak basically dungeon. I will do the Spire Cavern I think because it's like reasons to actually like, do it. Because there's actually, like, you know, monsters in here I want to show off, but, you know. Outside of this, I wonder. And by the way, I think it's probably about time maybe to pick up, like, you know, these other, like, runes here, so... Let's get that here. And we're just getting rid of the movement at this point. I know that movement isn't really that useful on this character because I don't really like, you know, move around a whole lot of them. Or if I do, then it's like, you know, sort of like, you know, bad if I have like, you know, in like, you know, overgrowth basically on. I just realized that there's, uh, you know, the entire reason I basically came in here is right here. So, I'm not sure you've actually seen these guys yet, but here's basically like, you know, a Ziak. It's basically one of the, like, you know, different, like, you know, um, races, I guess we'll say, in, in the game that is, like, not really busy in. Right now, basically, these guys just have, like, you know, um, you know, this generic talents, they don't really have anything on them, but, you know. Here's basically the Ziak. Or Ziak, or what do you want to call him. Almost killed him there, but whatever. It's a little bit hard to see him, but you know, um, there he is. Now, I'm not basically just basically like, you know, three different types of like, you know, um, races for like the Spirekin. And even though it basically says like these guys are faction enemies, they're actually like faction Spirekin. And actually, as you can see up there, like, you know, Spirekin. So. As well as really the same much. Basically, there's like, you know, there's three special races in like this like dungeon that I want to try and show off. And hopefully I can show them off a little bit here. If I find them. That's this weaver. There's a level for me and my guy. Alright, well, let's level up. So, two points to drop in stuff, so we can basically drop one right here. You know, I'm in interested in possibly leveling this up here a little bit, just to get, like, you know, the accuracy and, like, you know, the spell power boost a little bit here, so... Well, the accuracy I don't really care about, but the spell power I really do, so... I wonder if I should actually boost this up a little bit. I think I might. We're really at that point, by the way, where, like, you know, I basically, like, you know, can sort of, like, just fill out these points as I want to. I 
Maybe I'll like, get this a little bit more. You know, maybe I'll start like dropping some points basically this stuff up here so you can see like, you know, what this is basically all about. Apparently this stuff is like really good to get like, you know, healing for yourself as well as like, you know, a little bit of damage from things, so... See how that goes. Let's get world power basically up here a little bit. We've almost maxed maxed out our magic basically over here, which is cool. I still have these like you know town points basically to deal with over here as well, but whatever. Maybe in the future I'll basically be able to get that like you know that constitution I need. That's his regular spider up there. That's another regular spider basically up there. So there's basically another like, you know, Zayak. So I'm not basically the idea of like this guy here is that basically like, you know, um, half his body is basically like, you know, a life flowing rope and then like the other half is like, you know, uh, like, you know, he's basically tiny spiders. Wow, we're finding lots of Zayak. There's actually more than like just a Zayak here, by the way. There's actually like two other like you know spiking races, but you know, it seems this guy's the one we're going to see the most here. So whatever. That was annoying. Throw stuff over here. Hmm, a Naga. Interesting. Let's tentacle construct you. Do this. Do this. This guy's being exceptionally annoying, but whatever. So, I'm not basically how this basically works the primal infusion. Um, for those who don't know, basically, it's like th what, what this basically does is when you basically take damage, you'll basically like, you know, heal for like, you know, a little bit of damage. And basically, like, reduce the duration of like stuff you're getting hit by, so. That's basically gonna like reduce a lot faster. There's Zayak right there. Eh, we didn't kill that guy, that's kind of annoying. Oh, well, this guy's apparently able to like summon a bunch of guys, that's annoying. There's a Weaver Matriarch up there, because why not? We have enough rares, rares to, like, to fight. Hmm. I think what we're going to do here... I'm going to activate these now. Pull this guy here. Just drop this stuff here. Oops, I moved. It's like one of those things. It is possible to, like, you know, 
move around, but it's not like, you know, useful. Because basically it's knocking stuff around like crazy. Sacrifice this. So not that basically it's like going down a lot faster. Now I actually just thought of something about while I was like, you know, running around in here. I should probably get the, um... Probably just go around and get the, um, what do you call it? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm relenting pursuit from like, you know, um, Aaron at this point. Most well, perfect is knocking me into walls and stuff, but whatever. Rares, rares, rares. That's what you basically get in Nightmare. There's a summoner apparently, so... Let's pop over this guy here. He's got heroes mine, I'll be annoying. And of course I shuffle the terrain. That's always fun. Off them. There is certainly a lot of these guys around, but you know, I'm not they're like not the only guys in here, by the way. There's basically like two other like spider can races called like you know the like, Krikak and like the um Shiak. There should be like some of those guys around as well. Ah, right, there we go. There's a Shiak, a Venom Blade. Let's just grab him over here. So here's basically the Shiak. So strange looking humanoid covered in black chinous skin. He do wield sinuous blood see daggers and seems bent them plunging him into his body. So basically there's basically like, you know, one like the Shiak. I'm not sure if there's any Krukak in the game, but you know, I knew there's like this guy around here, so there's our first Shiak, he's he's a rare. He's dead. It's just the one she icon is level, I guess, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, we don't have constitution on my other guy, so whatever. 
to really use daggers. As always, I'm looking for that willpower and stuff like that for my character, or like dexterity for my character. Where I got some willingness, I guess, so whatever. And not nice dexterity for that matter. There's a nice thing for dexterity, I guess, so we'll keep this. And it's like, Mind Blast to silence people or cleanse wounds, so whatever. Let's go in here, we'll just go talk to Aaron a little bit. So there we go, we got, you know, Relentless Pursuit right there. Hooray! Could you kill that patrol for me? I don't want to deal with them. So now like, you know, Zayak. Ow, what just hit me? There's a fireworm over there. Let's get over here, do this. The airbase was killing me right here. Was killing me. That's a rare, apparently. Also, let's just dump the virus out and about. Oh, help. Whoops. Now, this is a powerful class, but I also very much dislike the fact that, like, you know, I can't really move around with overgrowth or, you know, start off my, like, battles, like, you know, having a little, little bit of, like, you know, resource. I expect that from a curse, not from this character. We got accursed.
Well, was that tough, I guess? I'm taking forever to get through this dungeon, I wonder. But whatever. Ow. This guy's a skirmisher, by the way, but, um... Quit damaging for a skirmisher. Whoop, I think he teleported somewhere. That's annoying. This is a very Zayak over here. Oh, we got doomed. I was wondering if like, there's a doomed or it's like, you know, Umbral Horror or something over here. Well, next level. Find my meat. Oh, I have willpower now, so I can actually equip stuff like this here, so... If I was like dexterity on these, these mine stars, I'll like check it out. There's some dexterity on the boots, I guess. I forget how much dexterity I basically need on this character to, like, to do what I need to, but you know... I'll find out, eventually. I don't really need flexible combat for this dungeon here, so... This place is a Shiak, by the way, just a normal one. Well, he we has some, um, you know, Zayak, with some Shiaks. You know, so I wonder if there is any quick hack space in the game. There might not be any, so... Oh well. This is a fairling. There's the Weaver Matriarch. I did this on purpose, probably, so I could, like, you know, shift the train around her so I could, like, do it like this. Do that. I didn't mean to move her d at that time, though. Get over here. At least she's down to like, you know, two thirds of her health. There we go. Free to Sun Paladin. You know, some people are like saying like the you know, there's actually basically like, a, I guess a damage debuff on like the worm that walks, but for the most part, I find it enough damage to really be like you know useful.
Like, he does, like, you know, almost, like, 200 damage by himself, this guy. Plus, it's, like, diseases, so... I think what they said is, like, this guy's damage is reduced by, like, 60%, so he only does, like, 60% of his damage, but, you know, it's still enough to do a lot of damage, so... Let's keep this... Can I we use shields? Yeah, I can't use those, so... Oh, well. Would be nice, but no, I can't use them. Let's keep this. Test done. I'm running around here by the way because I'm actually like checking for shops. Because I'm thinking to myself. Maybe some of these might have like, you know, dexterity on or something like that. Or constitution. And it's actually not done for the most part because I don't want to be like, you know, dealing with like the, um, I don't want to basically be dealing with the like, you know, music in that zone, but whatever. Alright, so, at this point, I'm actually have enough to be said dexterity to get, like, what I need to, so... Transfer the party. Because you can wear belts. Wield. Wield. We'll just get rid of this here, I guess. Too bad I can't wear cunning, you know, constitution gloves like, you know, my guy or whatever, whatever. Put these basically on. And we'll put these on. Sure. Put those on. That should be enough to get my dexterity up where it needs to be. 60 dexterity. So, basically, flexible combat is apparently really good for this character because, like, you know, all our technical stri um, strikes are basically technically unarmed. There's also, like, you know, these are, like, you know, probably like, your next area can basically get as well. But, let's get this here. So I should basically up my damage output by quite a bit now, so hurry for that. I forgot what I was basically wearing before, but I guess it was like this for the penetration, so we'll put that back basically on. this I got can't wear amulets so let's transmogrify this I guys don't really need dexterity I guess so we'll put this back face back on we'll trans you know transmogrify this There's a lot of dexterity in my boots, apparently.
By the way, because of the flexible combat, we now have, like, you know, um... Uh, uh, uh like, you know, ability on, like, our gloves here to basically see, so... Well, I should have them, basically. Whatever. Basically, I should not be doing stuff with my gloves, basically, as well, so... Should see some, like, effects basically popping out from them now. You know, one of is worth, worth, like, keeping this for anything. But if I find a better helmet, I'll basically, basically replace it for, like, the willpower, I guess, because, like, you know... That's, like, the only reason I'm basically keeping this right now, I think, the helmet. Honestly, I should probably have this on, by the way, at this point, because the resist um, resistance I basically get from it, but, you know... I'll test that out in a moment. Huh, I actually get the same, like, willpower from this weapon, um, you know, helmet here as, like, the other thing, so... Let's get rid of that at this point. Don't need any of these, so... You can go. I think we get constitution from our, from our, from our other guy, so... See how this basically goes. Yeah, he's got enough constitution on his weapons here, so. I can go back. I already like five, like, you know, on his belt constitution wise, so whatever. Really where I need to get, like, my, like, you know, constitution status points, basically from, like, the rings, really, so... I'll have to find some rings that basically have some constitution on them. Must be missing something, but whatever. Oh, I didn't have that on. Well, whatever. Huh, I actually do more damage with like the um, sword I'm doing a mace now. Let's go like this then. Well, that's done. I mean, like, you know, transform and this stuff here. Well, I guess while we're basically at it... Hmm... I basically have, like, my fire and, like, cold maxed out here at this point, so... Let's see how tough this is going to be just to enter it right now. So these guys basically are like level 49, but you know. A quick teleport over here is fine. Oh yeah, it's gonna be uniques in here as well, that'll be annoying, but whatever. Ow. Oh wow, there's like two like uniques in here, that's annoying.
Wow, I just walked myself into like a really bad position here apparently because there's like lots of stuff here that can kill me. Let's see here. I know I'm low health, but whatever. We'll do this. Well, this guy's almost dead at least, so... That's a, you know, plus. Oh, you know what? Because my world walks basically so far away, we can't use this here. So that's worth noting. Let's do that. I'll flip that switch just in, like, you know, in the meantime. So this is a really bad teleport I basically did right here, but whatever. Let's just drop those guys there to sort of, like, you know, hammer them. Well, I basically just, like, you know, stay away. Ow. We kill off that guy there. So this guy's basically an arc mage, so that's painful. It's like just prematurely. Maybe got a heal a little bit of healing from that. At that point, let's just do this here a little bit. It's too bad I didn't generate any orbs here, but whatever. Oh great, teleport away. Hooray for, you know, that little feature of like the guys there. Well, this is painful walking in here, but at least I killed off basically unique already. You're back. A blood lich. Interesting. We'll do this. And of course he teleports away, because why not? Oh, guess who's back? This guy. Grab you. Alright, good. He's dead. Oh, we already found a tome, basically, for, like, you know, the jeweler. That's interesting. Alright, the, the boss here is already here, so that's interesting. I think I got the guy at the door. Let's do this. This guy's stummy air a little bit, but it's fine. We can deal with that. Or not. Well, my insanity's building up. Drop this stuff here. And level up. Whoop, I just shoved your train. There's Icy Kill.
Did I come here too early? I'm not really sure, but you know. I'm gonna get my ass kicked for sure. Hey, there's Garkul's teeth. So I get to show off what these are all about. Of course, to teleport. Let's drop those guys right there, I think. Let's grab you. Walking around is, of course, still a bad idea, but whatever. I know that icy bre um, acid breath you saw there, that's basically from my gloves, by the way. That's gonna happen every so often because of flexible combat. Alright, well. That was an interesting way to sort of like start this level off. Alright, what's this do here? So. This is like a cool ability to sort of like, you know, help like you heal, heal, heal yourself, I guess. Basically like, you know, it inverts like healing, so like basically heals yourself as opposed to like the enemies. Might be useful. This is useful to like, you know, reset my cooldowns and stuff like that, so I'll get this as well. That's just whatever, but you know, it's instant, so it's nice. Let's get this here. I'll probably start showing this off soon, so you can see what it's basically all about. Why am I losing health? My character apparently has negative health regen in here for some reason. You're being annoying. Let's confuse him a little bit. I don't know why we can't use this here, but whatever. Oh, it's because this guy isn't close enough? That's done. I think we'll basically go through the first level of, like, you know, Vorce Pride because, like, you know... It's already taking quite a bit of time. I'm not really sure why I'm losing my health here, but whatever. I'm definitely losing health, though. So there's something basically on here to reduce my life re regen or something. I have no idea why I'm losing health here, but you know. It seems a bit odd. Anyhow, by the way, I, I picked up like, you know, some stuff in here. Let's just go check it out. So here's Garkul's teeth. Basically, dude, like, this is, like, it's really good for like Berserkers, but you know, it has like a set item on it, so I'll show that off.
All the stuff here, you know. So I have no idea what this is all about, but um, oh, this place has a uh, you know healing mob mouse on it, so that's hurting me. Just being right here. Interesting. So we know what's basically hurting me now. It's this thing right here. That should help. That's a nice, like, you know, pick here, by the way, but, you know. Do I, do I want the, you know, re re resistance penetration as a thing from this thing here? That's what I'm at least looking at. Basically, this pick here, it has, like, darkness penetration on it, so... Oh, I've already basically got that, so never mind. Just, like, doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of this. Alright, I should be able to move around now, because, like, I don't have that, like, gem anymore. So that's nice. Yeah, we're regenerating our health now, basically, which is nice. A Sabature! Interesting. It will drop this stuff in here. Ah, the phase doors. So yeah, these guys apparently like came to me over here in a door. So that's interesting. Let's fight this guy. Alright, now I got these bosses to deal with over here. First things first, let's drop some guys on these guys here. <clears throat> That'll do some damage, hopefully. Oh, I can't teleport to this place apparently over here, so... Let's go here then. We'll grab him. I think two of them are dead now. There he is right there. There's a vault there apparently. See, this is the first um, level took this like long ago through apparently, but whatever. That's not a bad ring basically to get my guy, but um, hmm. We'll give that to him, I guess. Now, that would have been a nice, like, you know, axe to use on, like, you know, Berserker or something like that, but, you know, whatever. Nothing really sp spectacular about these over here, but whatever. Willpower on the Mind Star. Do 
There's a little bit of a constitution that's like, you know, this here, but I need a lot more than that just to, like, you know, help myself out, but whatever. Here's a wand. If you use uh, relate, um, release a radius 2 burst of void energy up to range of 5, dealing temporal and darkness damage with some magic. That might be okay to have around. It goes right there, though, so, hmm. It's okay, but not really my thing, I think, so. Get rid of that wand. Okay, let's just go through this, like, vault real quick. We got ourselves a, uh, you know, a flame bringer over here, apparently. This will be fun. He's an al alchemist, apparently, so... AAA, Archmage Nerfful Alchemist. We'll drop that on him. Interesting how he turned into, like, you know, sugar off there, but whatever. Let's do that to him. Do this to him. Oh, look at that. We actually have an area unique over here to deal with. That'll be interesting. He's dead. You know, currently I have, like, these things basically going on. I should actually show them off right now, I guess. So, let's do this. Cover things with, like, you know, whatever. I'm un unable to move, okay, so let's do this. You know, it's nice being a halfling able to, like, you know, get out of, like, you know, pins and stuff like that easily. That's the one nice thing I'll say about the halfling, it's like your anomalous rate really does help out a lot. He's dead. Curious of the Dark Lord. This is a very small vault. Well, that's fine. It can be it can be a small vault. Ah, uh, see here, we got ourselves an amulet. Another amulet. Now that's basically an amulet with like constitution on it, so I'll be giving it out to this guy here. If we find any more like that, then I'll be able to like, you know easily get the um, you know stuff I need to like get like fixed skin. Constitution. We'll see how it's better than my current one just for basically for him. Uh, that might be useful for him to use for over there, so... You can have that. Here's the Butcher. Ooh! Enter a weapon kill. Enter a rampage. So it's like a cursed weapon. Interesting. I think I'll actually keep that because I can actually possibly use that in like, you know, cursed character, so we'll just keep that around. Let's check out these robes. Is there anything with constitution on them? But I should probably check out my own robe at this point for like, you know, stuff like this. That has constitution on it, but you know, it's only six, so. Hmm. Does any of this stuff really benefit me, I wonder? Again, this would be nice for like the obvious resistance it has on it. The mine has like a lot of obvious resistance anyway, so. Well, 
Well, whatever. Let's control my guy here for a moment. See, so yeah, that's basically a, a lot better than like my current, like you know, mace there. So. We'll keep this for sure. Also gives him like, you know, knockback immunity, life regen, disarm immunity. So just take that right there. He doesn't need confusion immunity if I recall, so let's just take that off. We'll give him an S. We'll give him an S. We now have a lot more constitution in my character here, so that's nice. Let's see if we have enough. And we do! Boop! And there's this as well. So, the way to get the last point, I need like nine more like constitution, but you know. We're actually getting to that point where I can actually like, you know, start like leveling up constitution a little bit if I really want to, just to get it out of the way. Because it's basically like, already maxed out over here. For magic. Put this on here though. So 446, cooldown 14. Oh yeah, I've got this over here. Either I got the reflection rune, that's basically enough for a mason to use, so that's fine. Keeping that for myself. All right, so Garkul's teeth and like, basically his helmet there, by the way, they're used for like you know, um, what you call it. They're used for a step bonus here, and I basically put them both on. Basically, get a step complete, and like you know, basically get like you know a chance to summon an orc spirit. With like, you know, both these basically on. Which is kind of interesting. I don't really need it on his character, but you know, I thought it would be interesting to throw off like, you know, set item at this point. It's like, you know, one of the guaranteed ones you'll usually get, so... Let's take that off. It's too bad my guy can't use constitution like, you know, amulets, but you know, oh well, that's fine. Let's get rid of this. So I actually do benefit a little bit from a helmet, by the way. Maybe I should put it on at this point. I lose a little bit of arcane. And I guess we lose access to like, you know, um, Chance to like, you know, slow gold speed, chance to like, you know, reduce armor. Which does help. But I think we'll like keep it. Alright, well. That'll basically be it for like the first level of the pride, I guess, so. Let's go back to Lemur, say hi. Tell me, tell me we basically got the, the tome. He'll probably want us to go basically to, like, you know, the place as well. There we go.
Alright, well, this is a very productive episode. I managed to go for a Spire Cavern. I managed to, like, you know, get that tome for, like, Lemur. I managed to get a fixed game for my, like, you know, Worm It Walks. I managed to get, like, you know, other stuff for myself. Oh, I hope you guys basically enjoyed the episode and take care.